This is on uh, hey, you're Isaiah 11 and 11. And is, um, suck it. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. So we're coming to a point in time where the Most High is getting ready to get all of his people back, which he scattered throughout the nations, throughout the four corners of the earth, who are biblically the Israelites. That's a fact, Jack. Which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathras and from Cush and from Elam and Shinar and from Hamath and from the isles or the islands of the sea. Huh. So the Lord's breaking down all these nations telling you his people are scattered everywhere. They're scattered in Egypt. They're scattered in Asia. They're scattered in Africa. Where are all they're, they're, they're everywhere. So he said there's going to come a time where I'm going to pick my people out of each nation, specifically the elect, because it also says two-thirds of his people are not going to hearken unto his word, which will make them heathens. Really, it's blasphemers, but you'll be a heathen at that point, or considered a Gentile. Did you uh, have any questions? Did you, have, did you have any questions? At least they're doing something in these troubled times. Uh, so that's a good thing. I, I, got, I got this little step that I wanted to bring out, uh, you know, back back up what we just brought out. It says, uh, this is out of Daniel 9, 7 through 8. It says, uh, O Lord, righteousness belongs unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day to the man of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. All right, so what he's saying is this is a confusion of face or who you would call today a, 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 a Gentile, a heathen that looks like another nation declaring that the Most High is righteous. He's declaring his faith. And he, he, he's saying unto us, us uh, Israelites that have been scattered amongst these nations and we look like them now because it is a curse. Huh. And unto all Israel that are near and that are far, far off through all the countries. You know, going back in that last set, you know, we were scattered abroad. It says, whether thou hast driven them because of their trespasses, so it's all meant for a reason. Huh. It was all meant for a reason, man. Like the old chick was talking about her bus passing her up, man. That was meant for a reason. Huh. Maybe for huh. that moment, for her to just come up for a moment. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe it was, it was all for a reason, you know? Um, going on, it says that they have trespassed against thee. Uh, verse 8, O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face to our kings, to our princes, and to our uh, fathers. So man, every man, Israel could be every shape and size, man. And, and it didn't matter how noble you were, everybody fell. From from the highest kings that you would hear about, the ones that have these societies that everybody would go to to trade with, the, the, the Meccas, to the lowest slaves from, from, from Rome and Babylon and Greece and Assyria. Everybody was a part of these curses if you're an Israelite. Okay. Um, it says, uh, because we have sinned against thee. Um, God, and like you said, because of sin, uh, which is transgression of the law. That's First John 3 and 4. Fall of man. And God. really, we fall of man. Like we just got uh, earlier in the day because Israel wanted to go down into Egypt as soon as we uh, we, we fell from grace or we, we fell in our kingdom. We said, well, yeah, we said, well, Israel, who, who's the next strongest nation? It's, it's Egypt. So we'll go to them for help. And what did they do? They said, well, this is a weak nation now. They were over us. Now we have them under our grasp. That's free labor. And they took advantage of it. And they enslaved us. But it was prophesied. Because we didn't go back to the Most High. We went unto man, just like this man said. 
We want to unto. We saw after man to solve spiritual problems. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, um. Oh, dude. Um. At my at my workplace, man. Oh, dude. Uh. He was telling me about uh. So, so he's a so-called Mexican. Oh, Mexican. You know. Uh. You know. He was very. But, uh, no, he's telling me, man. He's like, don't you think it's weird when you run into another Mexican that speaks Spanish? And then when they find out that you don't speak a Spanish, they look at you sideways, man. Come on. You know, and then, and then I looked at him, I was like, you know, I was like, you know, I was like man, it's because they, they uh, uh, you know, took trust and, 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 and got killed and raped and murdered and took took hold of these uh, customs, man. You know, Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, it, it's just like if Russia came over here today and took over the Americas, all right? Eventually, down the, down the road, if everybody's going to start speaking Russian, mm -hmm. uh, you know? Um, or the, the ones that didn't, that wouldn't have resisted it, they'd be taken care of, yeah. just like they were in the past. You spoke a little bit of Hebrew, you get an arm chopped off. Yep. You speak some more, your baby gets killed. You speak a little more, your whole line is it's, it's cinched. There were severe punishments for being who you were back in the day. And now you got people so damaged from that, they're running away from it because spiritually they know what happened in the past. That's why they want to call themselves black. That's why they want to be Puerto Rican. That's why they want to go run into Trump when a hurricane hits them. Because the most high is fucking them up because they fucked up. Huh. And I got a, uh, I got a quick step uh, huh. before you, you get that out. And this is uh, Hosea chapter 8 verse, verse 4 They have set up kings But not by me They have made princes And I knew it not Of their silver and their gold Have they made them idols That they may be cut off So you got Israel running everywhere Everywhere But to the most high Because the most high just gave them a severe ass whooping It's like when you see a child act up in the store and then their, their, their mother uh, is about to whoop the shit out of them. They start running because they're scared. That's what Israel's doing today. Yeah, they'll run to the damn cops before they'll run they to the run cops. back to their they'll, parents. They'll to... run to the cops that literally they're protesting that just killed their baby, but oh, this man just raped me. Oh, it was a cop. That's that's how bad Israel is mm -hmm. because they don't want to take the ass whooping. But the okay. elect, they're going to take the ass whooping now because we're tired of this shit. I'd rather get a stern ass whooping and know my lesson than go through folly and stumble my entire life. Yeah, man. Uh, li living a life of, uh, of, of, of confusion, man, <laughs> and, 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 and sim simple. Simplicity. How long will you simple ones less simplicity? Exactly, man. Um, it's locked, dog. I know you got a simple. Well, that was it. That was it. Come on, come on. What's up, bro? How's it going? Again, brother. I always remember spirits. <laughs> yes, sir. Yep. And that's a perfect example of the Daniel 9 and 7, because where, where were you born, brother? Nigeria. Nigeria? Oh, but according to some groups, if you're from Africa, you're not an Israelite. Who the fuck are you to say that? But just like, like, just like you said, brother, you remember the brother's spirit, that he is an Israelite, and he knows he's an Israelite. He don't even need us to tell him he's an Israelite, because exactly. he knows he it. Up, he's like, I'm an Israelite, you're an Israelite. That's, that's the spirit coming mm -hmm. together. That's the spirit in action. You can't make this up. I never knew him. I, and technically, I still don't know him. But I know you. That's the part. In, in the Bible, it says those who know the most high worship in the spirit and truth. Yep. There you go. That's right. Oh. I have a question concerning the identity of the Hebrew Israelites because I see a lot of camps. They be like, oh, because you're from Africa, that you, because you don't fit the curses like Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 mm -hmm. where it says that you know you be our ships in Egypt and you see Israel no more but they don't those camps don't consider that we have a lot of people back in Africa that are Hebrew Israelites they may not yeah. know it All right. like for example I see among my the Yoruba tribe we when I read the laws of Deuteronomy I see a lot of that in my culture like oh wow I, they match up yeah, almost like, point point. like almost like a, a puzzle. Yo. So I, I wonder how if you can explain to some of the camps that or oh, they don't consider people from India as Israel or Africa or Aborigines. 
right. that oh. don't specifically fit the, the uh, curses, no, okay. I, I feel okay. like they should do more research. Like, hmm, which one is Hamite and which one is yeah. Hebrew yeah. Israelite? That's, that's the thing that I kind of will have a problem with. Like, like ISUPK, I know that they hate the African. Yeah. But they, they, if you go by the Bible, I'm not really African because African is from a white man's. <laughs> Yeah, Amerigo, yeah. Amerigo Vespucci. Even the country or Nigeria. Amerigo, uh, yeah, uh, Africa, 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 Africa. 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 Even the country Nigeria, before <laughs> before Europe PS came to Africa, it wasn't there's Nigeria. no Nigeria, mm -hmm. there's no Togo. That's they all just have our own like, you know, tribal lands. Tribal lands. And most, a lot of those lands were, were in Hebrew names. Like Ghana. Ghana yep. is a Hebrew uh, a name. Yoruba, Igbo, uh, the Ewe. Huh. The, the 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 Fon tribe, all those West African Yo, tribes yeah. that you see, and that's where we ran. Yeah, the Israelites, when we were being chased down out of our land, we ran to West Africa yeah. to hide amongst the Hamites. Uh, that's yeah, weird. because they were all dark. We exactly. were all dark, so we were like, okay, we can chill. In with fact, them. Um, uh, I, you know, a, a La, a Lauda, a Guiano. Have you heard his story? I think no, I'm not seen. familiar. With Equiano allowed, he come from the Luke evil tribe, right? So he was telling the story of how he got kidnapped by um, the slave traders, both we'll get it right away. the African and the European. Go ahead and get yourself. He saw people from different ethnic groups that have his culture. They were able to circumcise, do all the things that we practice in the Bible. But then he saw certain people that didn't, that were completely foreign, that didn't practice didn't those. Exactly. Yeah, so. I, the people like ISUPK, they should, instead of completely write the entire Africa as Hamites, they should do some more study and research. Yep. Well, they actually don't and that's study a, at all. And, and that's yeah. even all the nations. Because all yeah. the nations were scattered abroad, all the nations, but especially Africa. Yeah, Africa so. has a lot of Israelites there. Because, you know, historically, and we're going to grab it in the scripture, but, you know, they ran into the West yeah. fleeing Roman, cap, Roman uh, persecution, persecution in yeah. 70 AD. I wanted to get this. Uh, okay. It's just, just what you were talking about, too. Okay. Um, this is out of the book of Ruth. Ruth 1 and 1. It says, Now it came to pass in the day when ye judges ruled that there was a famine in the land. So, so you gotta, you got to understand, too, is that it wasn't just, you know, war, people putting people in captivity. Man, there, there's disasters, you know, just like any other place, you know, as a matter of fact, with these hurricanes going on. You know, they ain't gonna probably be able to live there. You know, they'll have to probably, you know, travel time to time. You know, to which would you say is more destructive, a hurricane or a war? A hurricane. It could go. In, I, it could no, go either way. Exactly. Exactly. Either way. So that's what I'm saying. It says, um, and uh, a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went, went to sojourn in the country of Moab. Um, so so he went to the country of Moab, uh, that which is consisting of the so-called Chinese okay um, so it says he and his wife and his two sons and the name of the man was uh, uh, Mel it's lucky I can't pronounce that right he read up on two And the name of his wife, uh, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, uh, Mah Maholan. Uh, well, I'm going to jump down a, a couple of lines. It says on verse 3, and the, uh, the Il Ilamuk, uh Naomi's husband, died, and, he, uh, and she was left, and her two sons, and they took them, wives of the women of Moab. So you gotta understand, man. You know they took on wives of, of, of you know, Chinese women. So you gotta and that's understand. That's where uh, uh, David, huh? David, David, uh, Jesse, which was David's father, came, came from that seed. Huh? Yeah. So you which see. was that seed was put in the mm -hmm. in the Moabite woman and brought out, looking, had to have been looking a little a little confusion of face at well, least a little. And, but the thing was, the Israelites at the time knew he was not of the seed of Israel. God. It's like, uh, what's the analogy? If you take a, a, an apple seed and you plant it in, in different soils around the world, it's going to bring up different trees. 
different types of trees, but it's gonna be, it's still gonna be an apple. But you do the same thing. If I take different seeds and plant them in the same soil, it's gonna be different fruits. But people will have, have you believe the, the, the logic today is, if I take the seed of a man and implant it in the soil, which is the woman of that nation, then my seed becomes the fruit of that nation. That's the logic people are trying to do with this whole grafting in with the olive tree. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Because your seed is, is, is your seed. Uh, you gotta understand, you know, you know, uh, you know, throughout time, you know, they probably look, start looking like, you know, like a so-called Chinese person, you know? Uh, you know, for instance, their sons having, uh, having Chinese women and eventually going down and down, you know? Yeah. So, you know, uh, like we were getting on earlier is that, you know, Israel could come in every shape and size, man. Yeah, so that's why I think ISUPK and maybe IUIC, they should, you know, they should just go Yeah, because you don't, you don't see confusion of faces really ever in yeah. those in those camps. You, know, you could, you could be preaching the Bible to an Israelite that he don't know that he's an Israelite. That's and right. if you just, like, he's from maybe Africa or Europe, and he don't know that he's an Israelite, and, you know, you're telling him, oh, you know, you know you're not one of the... You don't fit the criteria. You, you right. don't know that because... And, and you're like, scattering the Heavenly Father's sheep at that point. Well, yeah. And besides, I, I think the Most High didn't say in the scriptures that in the last days he will come and bring, he will pick up these jump, people from all... Yeah. Jump back to that Isaiah 11, huh? Jump back to that Isaiah 11 that we were getting. Uh, 11 and 11. 